Every company knows what they offer or what they do. That should be a no-brainer. You shouldn't be in business if you can't yeah. articulate. You don't know what you're selling. I don't know yeah. if you have a business. Yes. <laughs> so, and then he goes on to explain that most customers, most companies know how they do it and how they stand out differently from their competitors. Yeah, I that's your, your differentiating factors that make you stand out from your competition and how you're going to sell that product. Yep. And I think, yes. I, I think that's yes. the thing with Apple is they challenge the status quo because of their design and infrastructure on their particular product was so out there for the time. Mm -hmm. It still is to a way. Um, and so they have a following of people who enjoyed the fact that they were rebels in an industry where everything kind of fit in a box. And then secondly, they made themselves a sleeker design. So just the branding and the design is so different than what everyone mm -hmm. else is offering. They got another following from that as well. Absolutely. So it, their marketing was on point. I yeah. Mean, we talked it, about I mean, it was like the trifecta, right? So you got good marketing, their branding was awesome, and the product they were actually offering was but superior. all aligned with to the their why. why status quo challenge the status quo yeah. yeah and in that you can begin to connect to certain customers but it mm -hmm. again we keep talking about this noisy marketplace and you know as business owners yeah. what we hear the most is just how do i find my customer how do i get my customers how do i grow my business so our answer to you and directly from simon is not a lot of companies know their why, why? And the most, he says almost verbatim, the most successful companies can articulate their why and it starts at the top and trickles down. Yep. And companies that have lost their way, individuals that have lost their way have lost their why. Yeah. And I think sometimes a company can get confused that their why is not the functionality of their product, right? Just because your product is innovative that's not the why. The why has to be an emotional response. Right. 